I call to order the January 2018 Legislative Meeting of Media Borough Council. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining us this evening. Welcome to the new year. A new year that uh, appears full of promise, sporting and otherwise. Uh, we have uh, some residents here who are wearing their Eagles regalia, and uh, that is fully appropriate. There. Um, if you look around the table, you will see that there have been some changes. They are the same faces, different places. Every two years, we have a local election, and on the January following the local election, we have the opportunity formally to make changes to leadership and council, as well as appointments to various commissions and uh, liaisons. Um, and that's what we've done this year. Uh, there is a theme to the changes that you see. The four members uh, of council who were reelected this past November are now entering their second terms. And uh, with those second terms will come at responsibilities and leadership opportunities. So uh, we have, uh, this is by way of example, uh, Sarah Dixon is now chair of the personnel committee. Kevin Boyer is now pre vice president pro tem. Uh, Amy Johnson is now vice president. And Lisa Johnson is the chair of the public safety committee. So we welcome them to their new positions and uh, with uh, uh, these added responsibilities. Um, I'm sure that you will all rise to the task, and we look forward to working with all of you in those capacities in the years to come. So um, let's get to the housekeeping matters. We have several uh, uh, sets of meeting minutes that need to be discussed. Uh, the first is from this uh, past December 7. We had a special meeting. There was a county presentation about uh, uh, proposed or a a possibility of a uh, new county garage uh, that was held here in this room and there's a set of minutes uh, that memorialize that meeting do I hear a motion to approve that set of meeting minutes as submitted so is there a second second any discussion hearing none all those in favor of approving the December 7 2017 special meeting minutes as submitted please say hi aye. 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 those opposed please say nay <clears throat> motion passes. Um, on that same day, we had a busy day, uh, that, that December 7, we had a public hearing concerning uh, the CDBG grants that we look to submit this year. You know, CDBG is a federal program that's administered by the county, and uh, we as a municipality in the county of Delaware are encouraged to make application for various uh, um, projects that uh, could help the community. In this uh, this year, uh, we are making a request for CDBG grants uh, for a form-based zoning project. That's a relook at our zoning laws and seeing whether or not there's ways of uh, tightening up and making them uh, more uh, suitable or adapted to media. And uh, the other item is uh, Baltimore Avenue traffic taming study. Um, so uh, that's what that meeting was about. Do I hear a motion to approve the meeting minutes for that uh, for that public hearing? So moved. Is there a second? Second. second. All right. Uh, I'll call the question unless there's discussion. All those in favor of approving the public hearing minutes concerning the CDBG grant uh, as submitted, please say aye. Aye. Right, aye. Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. Um, and then uh, lastly, on that date. Uh, we had our regularly scheduled workshop meeting minutes, and uh, do I hear a motion to approve those as submitted? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the December 7, 2017 workshop meeting minutes as submitted, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. On December 21, we had two events that uh, uh, required meeting minutes to be created. The first was a public hearing concerning the 2018 budget. Do I hear a motion to approve the meeting minutes for the uh, budget presentation as submitted? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the public hearing minutes concerning the budget from December 21, 2017, please say, as submitted, please say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say aye. The motion passes. And lastly, but certainly not least, our regularly scheduled council meeting, legislative meeting of that, uh, this past December 21. Do I hear a motion to approve those meeting minutes as submitted? That's all. Is there a second? Second. And is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the December 21, 2017 legislative meeting count of minutes, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. Okay, I think that we've kind of warmed up uh, to the task. Um, is there anyone who wishes to address council at this time by way of public comment or privilege of the floor? If so, please come to the microphone, tell us your name and where you live. Uh, there appear to be no takers this evening, so we will move along. Uh, Mr. Matson, could you please deliver the engineer's report? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just one thing I think is really worth sharing tonight, which is I had the opportunity to meet with representatives from the West and Flats project. Uh, as the council is aware, the council adopted a wayfinding sign uh, uh, plan back in June or so of 2016. So in the original application for the West and Flats, there was a very nice monument sign over at the Burlington Bean and one from the Flats. Through the process of working with the consultant Merge and the development of the wayfinding, the signs became more ornamental, became a little bit larger. They're, they're very nice and we can probably get a shout out. So what happened was when it was put in front of PennDOT, they reacted to it. And they said, these signs are different now because of certain technical things and set distances. We'd like to see that sign move back. So I had the opportunity to meet with the rep from West End Flats. And we think we have a, a new location which is going to satisfy PennDOT, the safety requirements, and meet the needs of uh, both the council and uh, the property owners at the West End Flats. But what I'd like to do is send our final design location over to the CDC committee so that they can give it a blessing since it is such a critical, it's such a visible part of wayfinding. This isn't really an administrative decision for me. I would like to make sure that the council and the CDC are okay with it. All right. Uh, CDC next meets this coming Tuesday. Um, Mr. Smith, if you can add that to our agenda. Sure. And we'll be happy to take a look at that and uh, make whatever recommendation we feel is appropriate. Thank you. <coughs> that concludes my report. Uh, are there any questions for Mr. Madsen? Hearing none, we'll move to Mr. Scott to deliver the solicitor's report. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mayor McMahon, would you like me to deal yes. with the Veterans uh, Memorial Wall? Uh, as, <coughs> as we've discussed, there's a proposal to move uh, the Veterans Memorial Wall, um, and I believe the current proposal is to leave it on the Spaza property, not on the Table 11 wall. This will require an amendment to the facade easement, and I would just like Council to authorize me to do that. Uh, so that I'm not you know, doing it if that's not the consensus of council. So I would like to prepare something to submit to SPAZO, which would show uh, this uh, alteration of the facade by moving the wall so that it is perpendicular to the street, to the very west border, but not touching this table 11, uh, and um, require that they keep um, kind of a view shed to it clear uh, of tables and chairs and outdoor dining. And will that, do you believe that, that needs to be done in the form of a motion? Yeah, I would, I would request it so that I'm doing it with your authority and not just to see if later it gets the, you know, with, with, with your kind of consensus. So. And just to add some context to this, this is an item that we have talked about at least twice at our workshop meetings at uh, some line. Um, well, is there anyone who is prepared to make a motion on this? Uh, yeah, I, I so moved. You make it seem so simple. Is there a second on the motion? I'll second, second the motion. All right, there is. Is there any discussion on the motion? Yeah, Bob, okay. just make sure you share um, draft language with us. Sure. And it will be back to you for your final approval. I just don't want to go down this direction without kind of, you know, your backing. So. Yeah, and um, also, Kevin, it, it might require some sort of exhibit map that you might have to prepare. I, I'm glad you pointed that out. That's, that is correct. And I'm just trying to get some clarification. Is, are we going to we're going to build it right next to the wall of Table 11, but not have it? So there's going to be some sort of a gap, or okay. Yeah. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, the motion's been made to authorize our solicitor to make changes to the existing facade uh, easement agreement with the, the Spazos Restaurant. Uh, for purposes of remounting the, the um, veterans 
war memorial um, as described by the solicitor and uh, that's been made and seconded um, I'll call the question. All those in favor? Well, is there is I think question? part of the motion needs to be the, the illustration drawing, right? Yes. Uh, to authorize the engineer to prepare one? Yeah. That would be fine. I'll does, that's a good idea. Does the maker of the motion agree to amend his motion? Yes. And the second? Yes. All right. Um, then I'll call the question. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. That's all I have. Are there any questions for Mr. Scott? Hearing none, we'll move along to the mayor's report. Mr. Mayor. Yes, during the month of December, the police department had 635 incidents. It says complaints, but let's call them incidents. Um, a couple, um, there were two reported burglars during the month of December on 12-6-17, unknown actors entered an unsecured apartment, uh, apartment door in the 400 block of East Jefferson, stole watches, electronic goods, household items, such as food and clothing. On the 13th of December, unknown actors forced an apartment door open on the 300 block of East Jefferson, stole a number of electronic uh, uh, goods. Um, the apartment is currently investigating these cases and is leaning towards the possibility of them being related. Um, on Tuesday, January 2nd, an armed robbery occurred at the Wine and Spirit Shop located on Baltimore Avenue. It closes a copy of the uh, original email uh, notification to council. Um, not, not related to that, but we are improving, let's say, surveillance on Baltimore Pike. Uh, um, and I think we have a meeting, I guess it's been moved to next week, uh, Kevin? Yeah, people say anything more about that because yeah, I mean, you've really moved this ahead a lot quicker, which I really appreciate. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I, with the understanding that security is a really a top priority here in media, uh, I wanted to facilitate uh, the installation of the added security measures as quickly as possible. So I've asked for a field meeting with all the technicians. Since there are a number of different technical elements, and it would just be better if everyone were in the field and we could move from site to site and have this done really as. Did we agree on next Tuesday, or are you still looking? That's right. Good, good for me. Um, <clears throat> just a little bit of uh, economic development things and as far as the theater is concerned. Um, the largest uh, attendance we ever had at the theater was when uh, uh, Annie, several years ago, when Juan Sykes was in it. Uh, <clears throat> over Christmas, Beauty and the Beast is the second highest we've ever had in the 23 years. Um, over 14,000 people came to Beauty and the Beast. The intake was $462,000. And on top of that, Jack Frost, which was the children's show during Christmas, they drew uh, another 2,000 plus and brought in another 23,000. And the restaurants did fairly well with that, um, especially one in particular halfway down the block. So um, uh, they've got some really good shows coming, well, even the shows coming up at the end of this year, but next year um, they have some shows that I think will be very popular too that will help us with that. Uh, I'd like to talk about all the work uh, Susan and everybody involved with the uh, Media Fellowship House last Sunday was Martin Luther King Day. I believe it was the 29th annual. Um, many guest speakers, Laurie Levinson came in from California, a well-known attorney that has had all sorts of cases, well-known for her writings, and uh, she was just tremendous. Um, and I have the Media Elementary School chimes. First time I've heard them, Susan. I never heard them before, but they were really, really, really did a nice job. Anything you want to comment? I mean, you were, uh, you helped put it together. And I, I mean, I've been to most of the 29, and Paul, you probably also have. Um, and I was really impressed. And it was, it was like every moment, it went for about two hours, and those two hours were all pretty well. Appreciate it. You don't want to comment? You don't look like you're about to. Uh, we had a very nice turnout, which is what we want, is to fill, fill the First Church Media. And uh, it, it was a wonderful blend of information, uh, insight, entertainment, and I think Fellowship House wants to build on the enthusiasm and make the organization a lot more visible and important to the community. I appreciated the Spirit Awards and learning more about um, 
our local, um, all the inspirational things in our town um, that have made such an impact. That was uh, the initiative that George Rothbaker started. Yeah. And uh, I think so. I Jeff is going to want you to start over again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, but the uh, the Martin Luther King Spirit Hall of Fame is a new initiative that we hope will turn into something very important in terms of education, ongoing. And uh, George Rothacre, who is um, an artist, has been very generous with Fellowship House. And, and, I mean, he's a wonderful artist. And, work, and everybody worked very hard on it. And uh, we also would like to thank the board and the, the support that the borough gives. And uh, just moving forward because we are in uh, interesting times, and we feel the fellowship house can be a, a force for change. And that concludes my report. <laughs> are there questions for the mayor? Uh, I don't know if this goes to you or go to Lisa Johnson. New Year's Eve. Right, that was. A no, I remember when it was. Mass gathering permit mm -hmm. was issued for 10 o'clock on, and as early as 8 o'clock, cars were being ordered off of, of State Street and just trying to determine who authorized that or how that became came into effect. Um, well, if you're asking me, I was there and saw them doing it. I just think for safety reasons, they do it that early just to not have to do it later, I guess, to be in place. But again, the questions. You know, the mass gathering permits, we, we put them, you know, we're the ones that approve them. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to determine who authorized. And again, it's not, I mean, the time really doesn't bother me other than the fact that between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock, there was no, in my opinion, you know, mass gathering permit to <coughs> shut down the streets. I will check on that. So maybe that should be changed for 2000. Please, yeah. Well, it also happened, it also happened several times during the dining of the stars where they just arbitrarily shut down the streets at times that weren't under the the main scavenging permit. And it's just a concern to me for, for legal reasons because we're shutting down the, the streets are being shut down that no one authorized to be shut down. So and also I felt sorry for the restaurants because it was a chilly, chilly night that night and there are several restaurants that you know, are on the blocks in which they shut down, in which their patrons were required to to go to different places. And it was just a little bit, because I mean, for the entire evening of dinner, uh, you know, there were police cars outside with lights on, so it kind of had that feeling of, was something wrong? I heard people in the restaurant, you know, something going on? So, we need, something we need to address. Okay, I, I that's the one night, uh, a year that I bar hop, and I went around to all the bars, and fielded complaints, and, um, you know, whatever, so. Um, yeah, I didn't hear anybody say that, but uh, Paul, if you don't mind, I want to bring up one more thing that this was brought up to me as an idea for next year that everybody can think of. In Philadelphia, they're doing a ball drop at 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock, and 6 o'clock for younger people. So uh, I'm mentioning it now because I may forget later. Um, so I think uh, some of you know, you were, yeah. So I think that might be a suggestion uh, for next year. Be great idea. That now concludes my report. One other thing for the mayor. Oh wait, it doesn't. This past Sunday was a very, very important day for the borough media because it happened to be our mayor's seventy-fifth <laughs> birthday. <laughs> and I just want to say, as much as we pick on each other, you are my best friend, and I enjoy being with you. And I wish you the happiest happiest 75th birthday. Well, thank you, Paul. All 75 years you enjoyed being with me? And <laughs> at least two out of the 75. <laughs> thank you. Well, it was not quite... Oh, yeah, the cupcakes in the back are for everybody. Yeah. And they've got Eagles logos on these cupcakes, so there's about 30 of them back there, so everybody helped themselves on the way up. Um, well, okay, so uh, thank you very much for the offer. Uh, thank you, Paul, for uh, the uh, birthday well wishes. It wasn't quite Marilyn Monroe crooning today, <laughs> but we take what we get. Um, 
All right, so uh, unless there are any other questions for the mayor or any other attempts to, uh, uh, to give him some, uh, cause him a little bit of embarrassment, yeah. move we'll move on. Um, so for tonight, I, I guess, and tonight only this, this month, uh, we will continue with the order of committee reports as we've established for the past four years. Uh, now that we are of a different seating arrangement, uh, the order in which we deliver the reports, I think, should be reflected by the, uh, should reflect the seating arrangement. Um, so uh, we will stick with what we know, at least for tonight, Recreation and Board of Health. Mr. Roy. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I have a few announcements and then one item of business at the uh, end of my report. Um, it's coming up to summer camp season, so the uh, rec board is currently looking for a new camp director. Uh, generally, they look for a, uh, a teacher um, to take over for the summer, so if anyone out there is interested in being the camp director for the summer, please contact Paula at the uh, rec board and send in your information. Um, annually, we, uh, the rec board holds a family dance. Um, tentatively, the end of February or early March, they're trying to coordinate with the school district uh, with specifically the elementary so they don't conflict with an event that they're holding. So stay tuned and I'll, once I have a date, I will, uh, will announce that. Um, this Friday, the 19th, in the parlor, Eric Stein and his, uh, I guess, jazz trio will be holding a potluck. So if you are want to hear some jazz from six to eight, bring a potluck and come to the parlor and uh, it should be a nice time. Um, the community um, playroom is currently looking to form a parent group. So if there are any uh, parents out there of, of relatively young children want to get involved. The uh, the play group or the uh, community playroom group does things like organize uh, the playroom, cleans up, make sure it's uh, it's uh, nice and orderly. So if anybody's interested in that, again you can contact uh, contact Paula. Um, in the distant future, the the rec board will be running the Spirit of Philadelphia again. That's the uh, I guess what you call lunch cruise on the Delaware. That will be tentatively September the fifteenth. On a Saturday, the, the rec board sells tickets for fifty dollars. Uh, there will be a bus. So I, I, I'll get the arrangements for that. But they, they generally run a bus from the Olive Street Garage to the uh, Spirit of Philadelphia down by uh, the Delaware. So that will be again on Saturday, September the uh, the fifteenth. And annually, the rec board also uh, provides discounted flower tickets uh, uh, tickets to the flower show, the Philadelphia Flower Show, which this year is March third through March eleventh. The tickets will be selling for twenty dollars, so you can contact Paul. There is no bus, so you have to provide your own transportation. But the tickets are uh, are somewhat discounted if you get it through the uh, through the rec board. And then I have one item of business. Uh, we have a new member of the board, Katie Dooley, who has expressed interest. She will be replacing Art Brown, who uh, who resigned, and um, Katie's term would go through December thirty first, two thousand nineteen. And I make that in the form of a motion to appoint Katie Dooley to the uh, to the rec board. Is there a second on the motion? Second. Any discussion on the motion? I'll call the question. All those in favor of appointing Katie Dooley to the rec board uh, for a term that will expire December 31, 2019, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. Thank you. And that concludes my report. Are there any questions for Mr. Boyer? Hearing none. Not a question, but sure. uh, for the flower show, um, People can get the train. I was just get, say that. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I mean, they're, they're go right there. upstairs. They're 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 right right there. There. They're 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 there. There's yeah. plenty of transportation options. Picture right, right there. Yes. Yeah. 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 The train, yeah. trolley, call the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mayor's local. Nice yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Um, we'll move along then to uh, the MBA, Historic Public Safety and Civil Service, Councilwoman Lisa Johnson. Thank you. Um, the MBA met last night. They're um, preparing for another great year, 2018. They also went over their 2017 results and they'd like to share it with us, but the report's not quite final. So when the financial report is final, I'll share it with everybody on the councils. So you can see all the activities that they are working on and the cost. Um, the other three Committees have not yet um, met, so I have nothing to report. Uh, I would like to make a motion to uh, hire a part-time police officer. We all um, interviewed Jenna Marie Long the other night for a part-time position that would allow the uh, police force to be run in a little more efficient way if we added to the part-time ranks. So. Um, 
we met Jenna and talked to her, had a good conversation. And so I'd like to make a motion to hire Jenna Marie Long as a part-time police officer for the Borough of Media. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Are there any questions about the motion before I call it? All right, then I'll call the question. All those who favor hiring Jenna Marie Long as a part-time police officer for Media Borough, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. I believe, Mr. Mayor, that uh, you will swear her in, if not tomorrow, then soon thereafter. Okay. And our best to her. Congratulations as well. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you. Are there any questions for Lisa Johnson? Uh, hearing none, we'll move along to Properties, Public Works, and Fire. Councilman Robinson. Good evening. Uh, first on the, the agenda, as I always have done and will continue to do, is encourage our residents to participate in the media fire and EMS units, uh, either as a fighter, firefighter or in the administrative side of it. Uh, good group, would not want to be out there on days like today when I hear the siren goes off, you really recognize the commitment that these individuals have for, for our safety. On the agenda, only one item, but it's a pretty uh, nice item I'd say, it, uh, it's we'll be making a motion that we enter into an agreement with the Department of Environmental Protection Watershed projection per grant. Really what this is, is uh, if I'm not mistaken, we had some funds left over from some funds that we had been working on with regards to stormwater management. Uh, this grant is a total cost of about $163,000 to $165,000 with the borough being required to have a 15% match. Uh, this is some, some stormwater basin retention areas which would be in the southern precinct south olive street jefferson street areas of that section um, bump out some other things to try to alleviate some of the stormwater issues in that area uh, once again i have to really thank you know, our grants writer for all the work that she does um, it's amazing that the amount of grants that we are able to receive uh, all, all because of karen's hard work so I could go on and on, but with that, I just make a motion that we enter into the agreement for the 2016 Growing Greener, Growing Greener Department of Environmental Protections Special Conditions Agreement. Second. Motion to made and seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the borough be entering into an agreement with the Department of Environmental Protection for a watershed protection grant as outlined by uh, Mr. Robinson, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. That concludes my report. Are there any questions for Councilman Robinson? Hearing none, we'll move along to Community Development, Historic Architecture Review Board, and Media Arts Council. That's my portion of the agenda. Um, I have uh, two items. They're related, I guess, thematically. They both involve easements. Uh, item number one is Ordinance Number 1129 of this year. It's uh, with regard to some construction easements, and these construction easements are at a property at the intersection of Providence Road and Baltimore Avenue. Uh, this goes back to the agreement with uh, the, for the construction of the new uh, Wawa store. Uh, as part of the agreement, uh, the, uh, there, uh, there is a, uh, a plan to put in a second left-hand turn lane on the southbound lanes of Providence Road onto Baltimore Avenue. The idea there is to reduce the amount of queuing of cars that are turning left uh, heading eastbound by adding more capacity with a, an additional lane. In order for us to, in order for that work to be done though, we need to uh, do some work on land that is owned by private property owners. This is typically done by way of construction easement. It's a temporary permission for us to go on the land and do what needs to be done in order to get the project done. Uh, we have almost all of those uh, agreements in hand. Uh, there's one property owner, however, it's been difficult to get the agreement. Uh, this ordinance will allow our uh, our solicitor to move forward uh, and file the papers necessary to obtain the construction easements that are required. So I'll make that by way of a motion that we adopt ordinance number 1129 for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Is that oh, okay. oh, motion sorry. has been made and has been seconded. Are there any questions or comments on the motion? Okay, so I'll call the motion. Um, all those in favor of adopting ordinance number 1129-2018 for a second-hand turn lane at the corner of Providence and Baltimore Avenue. 
please say aye. Uh, aye. Yes, aye. Aye. All those any opposed, please say nay. <coughs> Motion passes. All right, item number two also involves an easement. This is an easement, uh, we've already entered into an agreement for this. This is a property that uh, we own in Middletown Township, um, and uh, we have allowed some, con uh, uh, we have uh, agreed uh, to uh, uh, allow, uh, to enter into an agreement for, for an easement uh, for purposes of that development. Um, it, so that's already something that's been done. I, the, uh, project uh, is moving forward in Middletown, and uh, the developer would like the, media, the borough of media to consent to the project moving forward in a combined subdivision and land development application fashion. This is sometimes done by developers. It streamlines the process for them. Um, and our agreement uh, or our consent to enter into such to uh, the filing of that type of agreement. It, doesn't bind Middletown Township in any way. Middletown Township can decide whether or not to characterize this as separate applications or a single application. Um, so uh, uh, essentially, if, if we uh, agree to execute this, uh, this agreement, uh, then uh, it's really up to Middletown Township to decide what to do. So uh, I don't see that there's any uh, that uh, this poses any trouble for our media borough. So I will make the motion that we execute uh, an agreement or consent uh, that will allow the filing of a, a subdivision and land development application in Middletown Township. All well, motions been made. Is there a second? Second. Are there any questions on the motion? I do have one, I think for the solicitor. Um, is our Agree agreement of sale with McKee Group conditioned, I would imagine it would be, on the successful uh, subdivision and land development approvals? Or, or is it going to happen anyway? It is not. <coughs> they, um, as you will recall, they have paid, I believe it was $180,000. Did they already pay? They paid twenty on that because of, for the temporary. Uh, they still owe the balance, which is 150, 160 on this permanent basis. Um, they're, <coughs> they're, they're not going to pay if they don't think the project's going to happen in a long way. I see. But they're now getting close to, this is part of them moving it along, and I do expect to the bird be paid in the next two months. Okay. But them walking away wouldn't represent for them a breach of the contract because they yeah, have that out? We haven't signed it. I mean, we, we have negotiated a price, we have not signed a final document. Thanks. Are there any other questions on the motion? Mr. President? Just, just yes, one, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt the motion. One more point. So, I believe they're on the agenda for the Middletown Council meeting next Monday. That's correct. So that, that application, this is you know, a good timing that, uh, you know, if you're acting tight, that, that can be communicated back to the end developer. So they're on the agenda for Monday. All right. For final approval. Okay. Uh, so I'll call the motion. Um, all those in favor of the borough signing uh, consent to subdivision and land development application in, in Middletown Township, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. Motion passes. All right. So uh, we will monitor how that progresses. Um, I have two announcements. Uh, first announcement is with regard to a series of discussions we've been having at uh, the committee level on the uh, community design committee level about development along Baltimore Avenue. Uh, those have been very productive. Many members of our community have come out and offered their thoughts. Um, we will continue with uh, that discussion and there will be something of a presentation of results so far by our town planner, Tom Kamita at the next CDC meeting, which will be this coming Tuesday, the 22nd. That will take place at 4 p.m. in the second floor conference room, so if you're interested, please come out. Uh, the other announcement uh, is with regard to a, a special meeting that uh, we will have advertised shortly. Uh, we discussed it just on Tuesday night. Uh, uh, we have recently adopted a downtown business strategy plan. I think all of us in council have been very excited by that, and we are looking forward to implementing that plan. 
the, uh, we've decided that it, it makes sense to us to have a special meeting so that we can discuss how to go about implementing that plan. And uh, we have decided that this is a meeting that will take some time um, and rather, do it, rather than doing it at night when we might feel a little bit hungry and tired, that it made sense to do this on weekend. So we have selected Saturday, January 27, at 1 p.m., the second floor conference room, to have, that, to have our discussion about how to implement the downtown business strategy plan. So if you are interested, uh, I uh, recommend that you do uh, two things. One, circle this date and that time on your calendar. And two, take a look at the borough website. You will find the downtown business strategy mm -hmm. plan there. And I invite you to read it. It's actually, as these things go, it's fairly readable. Uh, and it's very interesting. Uh, there's a lot of information about media generally and some exciting suggestions about where we might go and how we might get there. Um, and uh, help sharpen up your questions if you choose to come a week from this coming Saturday. Again, that's January 27 at 1 p.m in the second floor conference room. So with that, my agenda is concluded. Um, any questions for President Hall? Okay. All right, uh, we'll move on then to finance, public safety, I'm sorry, finance and library. Um, just a uh, reminder to Mr. Mr. Smith that uh, Mr. Williams' agenda now should be finance and library. Um, all right, so we'll move on to uh, Mr. Williams. Thank you, Councilman, uh, Mr. Cap President Hall, sorry. Um, first item on the agenda is payment of bills for December, ratifying the same. From the general fund, we drew $244,565.27. From the recreation fund, $6,469.92. From the capital fund, $59,497.10. I move approve, I'll move ratification of the bills for December. So moved. Motion has been made and seconded concerning the payment of the borough's bills for December 2017. Uh, any discussion on the motion? Yeah. Hearing none, all those in favor of payment of the borough's bills for December 2017 as outlined by Councilman Williamson, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. Before I go to item number two, just a brief uh, note on the uh, budget from 2017. Uh, we don't have the final numbers in. That usually takes a, a much of the month of December, sometimes even into February, to get the final numbers uh, calculated. But it appears that we'll have a, a pretty good surplus for the year, which is is going to be very useful because we have a very um, ambitious list of capital projects to consider for next year, but it looks like the surplus for this year will exceed a half a million dollars. Uh, now that's new, uh, we'll hear the final number probably next month, but it's a pretty good result. That's really all I have on the, on the budget for this year. It's so new. Um, so, the second item is the, uh, the logo agreement with Pancrest Band. We often get asked at the Finance Committee and the Borough Council to make donations to uh, community service organizations in our area, uh, one of which is the Pancrest Band, which has a trailer which they use to haul their tubas and trombones and everything else to uh, events. And uh, they, 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 they are, they're trying to acquire one. And uh, we uh, agreed to give them a $500 donation. And uh, it comes with an agreement that we can get Media Borough's logo on the trailer. And there's a, s a simple agreement between the borough and the uh, band, uh, you know, uh, detailing that agreement. So I move approval of that agreement. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those who favor the borough media enter into a local agreement with, Pencrest, with the Pencrest Band <coughs> for the purposes of uh, the purchase of a band trailer, please say aye. 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 Aye, those opposed? The motion passes. That concludes my report. Are there any questions for Councilman Williamson? Yes. Peter, in the December uh, council meeting, there was discussion with regards to reopening the budget and you would ask that it be postponed until now so that you would have an opportunity to discuss it in finance. What was the discussion? We, um, 
Uh, well, I think what you're talking about is particularly your recommendations uh, in the memo that you sent to all of council. That was one, but just to have the opportunity to reopen and take a look at okay. some of the allocations of funds and things we like that. We did discuss it in finance, and I, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't bring it up, but it, the conclusion of the finance committee was none of the members were going to do that, but of course it's up to anybody on borough council to do so. But I anticipated. Thank you. All right, any other comments or questions for Councilman Williamson? We will then process to Councilwoman Amy Johnson for Fair Trade Farmers Market, Shade Tree, and the EAC. Thank you. Um, just a few quick items. Um, for those of you wondering if there will be a farmers market um, this season, um, the answer is yes. Um, the committee is working hard with a organization called Farm to City, which helps to run farmers markets throughout the Philadelphia area. Um, in collaboration with them, uh, we are acquiring new vendors. Um, we, I, I don't unfortunately have a uh, start date for the market quite yet, or a site. We do have, we're pretty certain where that's going to be, but please uh, be patient with us um, and stay tuned. You can always keep um, up with what's happening at the market at the website, which is mediafarmersmarket.org and their Facebook page. <coughs> Um, so stay tuned, but yes, we will be enjoying farm fresh food before we know it. Um, uh, one other thing, um, we just met, so Shea Tree just met um, for the first time this year, this evening, um, and something new that they um, are going to be working on is a um, Media Barrow Tree Health Survey. Um, so. Um, in an effort, you know, in making all of its decisions, um, its main the committee's main consideration is the health of the tree. Um, and so this survey will kind of evaluate individual health of trees within the borough, uh, specifically at-risk trees, so that it will really help to evaluate when something comes up, we'll have something to, the committee will have something to uh, look back on and kind of do some comparison from year to year. So that's going to be a pretty big task, but they're hoping to spread out that task through the committee and maybe some volunteers um, as well. So, um, yeah. That was it. Uh, yeah. That my Are there any questions for Councilwoman Amy Johnson? I have one, Amy. Yep. Uh, for that tree survey, mm -hmm. will there be an element to that that is linked to the borough's GIS uh, data? It would be very nice if it weren't just a paper thing, you know? So that, you know, we just started talking about kind of the specifics yeah. of all that here, and I wanted to actually talk. You yeah. about how we can most efficiently do all that recording and I'm not sure but I know that we have a system that we yeah, purchased like it's so that's kind of I was going to talk to you too yeah. Jeff um because this would be just, a great layer yeah it would like just having paper copies is not going to be you know no. this, this there might be some nice. way to do this with a tablet or something well, you know, that would yeah. be very efficient yeah, because not everybody has the ability to do that on the committee. But yeah, so I was, I was going to talk to you. Sure. So thanks, Peter. I have a question. Yeah. Um, if uh, residents wished to communicate to the Shade Tree Commission their concern about a particular tree for purposes of the survey, may okay. they do that? And if so, how? If they so so if you have if you have any kind of concern with a borough tree, a street tree, a tree that's whether it's outside of your home or when you're walking down the street, you can call the main office um, and make your report, which will then be sent right directly to um, the chair of the um, Shade Tree Committee and then reported back to the committee. And it will be looked at immediately with Ralph, the head of our public works, and the committee. Um, but yeah, as part of this tree uh, health survey, we were also thinking that there would be kind of link, there would be, um, any kind of report or any kind of um, resident complaint would be attached to to each of that tree, so that we can look back in the past to any kind of any kind of complaints or concerns that were made to that tree. Is this a survey restricted solely to borough trees? Yes. All right. So if it's on somebody's private property, yes. that's not, not part of the survey. Yeah. Uh, so there are 5,000 around 5,000 trees in the borough. So this is something that's going to be 
probably broken up into precinct and then kind of worked from there. So you know, it's going to take a little time, but we're kind of working out the tweaks. And like I said, this was the first discussion about it. But I'm I'm really happy about this this community for the for the health of our trees. <coughs> Amy, you just said five thousand trees in the borough owned by the borough. Yes. Yeah. I would not guess that. One per person. One per resident, yeah. One per <laughs> I like that. That's why we're Tree City, USA. <laughs> All right, any other questions for Councilwoman Amy Johnson? Hearing none, I will move along to Councilwoman Sarah Dixon, who I believe has the uh, unfortunate task of making a motion of resignation. Thank you, President. I uh, do. Um, what do you say, unfortunately? Yes. With regrets. With regrets. <laughs> yes, we have um, uh, Kelly Glacken, after, decided that she was in a uh, full-time position, and therefore she has to leave us, and she really is sorry about that. So I move that we accept the resignation of Kelly Glaxon as the part-time administrative assistant to the court code enforcement director. All right, the motion has been made, and is there a second? With second. Oh, there is. Any discussion? Uh, I know that we will miss her as much as she will miss us. <coughs> she was a fine addition and a very a great help to uh, uh, Mr. Jeffrey. I'll call the question. All those who favor accepting the resignation of uh, Kelly Glacken, who is the part-time administrative assistant to code enforcement, our code enforcement director, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. The motion passes. And the other committees haven't met. Yeah, it's still early in January. Okay. Or, are there any questions for Council Ms. Dixon? Hearing none, uh, we uh, again invite the public, if they wish, to come to the microphone and uh, ask us any question or uh, pepper us with any thoughts they might have. Um, Mr. Jordan, uh, any uh, predictions about the outcome of the game on Sunday? He goes by four. Eagles by four. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, excellent. We, we hope that uh, you are a good prognostic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, then, um, seeing that there are no other takers this evening, we will entertain motion to adjourn. Motion to be made. There is a second. Good night, folks. See you next month.